Hi guys, it's the third tutorial on how to create a ping pong game. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add a score system um, to decide which player wins. So let's get started. So first of all we're going to go to um, we're going to have to make a variable for each player. So go to variables, make variable, I'm going to call it player one and then make another pair of variable player two points. You can see there. So just move them into the position that you want. And then we are going to go to stage, background, edit, and to make the score system we're going to use a colours. So I'm going to put one a different colour on the one side and a different colour on the top side. So I'm going to choose green for the left hand side. Just not I'll do it. And then I'm gonna make orange for the right hand side. And then for the top I'm gonna to do blue. Yeah, that's fine. Then I'm going to press OK. Yes, yeah, so that fits nicely. So now I'm going to see because if we run the script now, the ball's just going to run through the colours as you can see. So we need to make sure that it doesn't do that. So we'll pause that, go back to the sprite and scripts, and we're going to go to control. And grab a if one of these, and then we're going to grab, we're going to go to motion, uh, sensing, touching color, put that in there, and then you should pick the color from the top. So we're going to do blue first, and we're going to go back to motion. So it's turn 15 degrees, we're going to change it to 90. And then we're just going to put the in there. And now we're going to make kit for the players. So we're going to go back to control if if um, sensing touching colour. We're going to put green. Then we're going to go to our variable we've created and change player two points by one. It says one there, so change that to two because that's player two points is when it hits the green. And then we're going to have to add a stop script so that the points do not keep going up. There, like that. So then literally we can just duplicate that. Put that there. Change the colour to orange. Change it to player one points. Stop the script. And then we should move that up into there so now that's done um, press run we'll see that it hits off each side but when it um, when it hits the colour it actually stays on there I mean when it and you see the players points keep going up um, even though we started the new game so 
what we need to do is we need to go to variable and just at the top here set player points 1 to 0 and grab another one and set player points 2 to 0 so let's try now yep yeah. see now we started again it stays at 1 and now instead of a stop script we want to put a wait one second because it's restarting the game all over again. So we're gonna to have to take we're gonna take the stop which I'll delete it. Wait one second. Add that in there, take that stop script out, delete it, add another wait one second and again we need to make sure that um, it stays in the right starting position so we're going to go back to motion and go to X, look the one at the top go to here is it, go to X I'm going to change that to 0 on each one Duplicate that, and then put that just below the wait one second on each one, like so. So that's looking good. And now, instead of the forever loop, you want to um, because we want the game to go to score of five, and once the player reaches the score of five, the um, that's going to be the winner. So instead of forever, we're gonna have to we're gonna create a repeat until. So to do this, we're gonna go to control, repeat until. Oh, we don't want to draw that. And then we're gonna go to um, operators. And the or put that in there, and then we want two equals. We're going to put them in inside this. And then in the, so the score is going to be five. So put five on the end of each one. And then we want player one point. So we're going to go back to variables. And player one points in the first one and player two points in the next one and so we're gonna take gonna take this out the forever loop and move from move from five steps move all of this into the repeat until Drag this up and we can get rid of this forever. So we want to delete that. Yep, so that's looking great. So see the ball starts off again and zero zero. So it's looking good. We'll get it to score of five. See that's the game over now, it doesn't start again so just a nice finishing touch for the game would be to add um, at the end like a player one wins and player two wins so to do this we're going to have to create control if else just join that up there so I'm going to go to operators and then what one are we going to pick that so put that in if so then the score is going to be 5 so we'll go back to variables and it will be player 1 points 
So we want so we want it to say player one wins. So we'll go to looks. Say player one wins. And at the else we don't need to put uh, the other player two points. Um, we'll just say player player two wins simply. So that's it then guys, that looks like um, everything really, we'll see if the score comes up, see player 2, I hope, player 2 wins, there you go, that's it guys, hope you like this tutorial and please look at all the tutorials on the website, on the website. thank you.